Welcome to David Institute Premium Masterclass. Our topic today is Age of Deception, the first Gibeonite invasion. Okay, now, as I'm looking through the life of the Gibeonites and interaction with the children of Israel, it's become apparent that the thing that brought that level of deception was two, was two fundamental things. The number of people who were involved in the negotiation were too many, three sects of people, Joshua, the children of Israel, uh, who are the leaders of Israel, and the princes of Israel. Um, and this set of people were just carrying a, a different dimension to the whole story. The leaders of Israel were able to decode that something is not right. What did they decode? They were like, okay, there might be something wrong, but eventually you're with us, you're near us. That's okay. Why should we make a league with you? They didn't answer him. They didn't answer those guys up. They went to Joshua and said to Joshua, You can see where you are servants. And then that kind of puffed up the ego of Joshua and his people. And they went ahead to now download all the history of the children of Israel to the children of Israel. Your God is so great. We don't want to fire you guys. And then they went the next time, when it seems as if the statement didn't suffice. They went a step further. You can see our food is all dried up, our drink is gone, bust, our clothing is worn out because we are from a far country. The scripture recorded that the people brought out virtuals. They wanted to use their prophetic links to 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 to, to ask God for his opinion concerning them. Unfortunately, when they had all these costumes and makeups and and this is what the the false deceptive prophets are doing this is what the body of christ is inclining to now trying to use fine light and costumes drama to deceive people from seeing the truth if you can go to places where there are no strange worship structure you will hear god clearly all those things that aid that seems that seems to aid worship or aid christian life or christian worship must be watched carefully that it will not adulterate your ability to hear and see god but let's put that aside one of the fundamental things we needed to see was when they were being when they were discovered and they were being punished something that joshua said that they the children of israel the princes have already given their condition you're going to be hewers of wood and all these things but joshua did something that was strange he said you're going to be that for the house of god very strange and now you understand that that was the beginning of the porousness of the house of israel in letting these people destroy israel in their land that is how these guys crept in while they were hewing wood and while they were fetching firewood and hewing wood and getting fetching water they were watching how the house of god was being run they were watching and what did they go after they went after a very interesting layout. What was the layout? <laughs> the prophets. When the time came, they know they can't be high priests. But they, who were not even children of Israel, became prophets to prophesy to the kings of Israel. This is strange. This is strange. This is another realm of dimensions of life. And we need to be careful. We need to be careful, especially when we are dealing with this level of deception. We need to be careful what we are falling, what we are falling for when we are heading towards a dimension and a direction. We believe that by the grace of God, we need to have an insight into how God will lead us in all that we do to make sure that we hear, we do according to what we have heard. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for listening to davidinstitute.org program.